this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to install Java for a brand new MacBook Apple Silicon computer. Uh, we're gonna start the we're gonna install the native versions, the Apple Silicon versions. So we don't have to run Java through Rosetta, which would be very slow and inefficient. So without further ado, let's start. Uh, basically, when you get your Mac, if you type Java minus version, you see it's not installed. So the goal here is to install several versions concurrently, meaning you can switch back and forth between the versions. It's very common in Java project to have to use one version for a project and another version for another project. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here. So let's go to the to to a browser and then type download JDK. And then if you go to Oracle, you find Java 19 and Java 17 for Apple Silicon. If you click on Mac OS here, you see Oracle is providing 17 and 19 for Apple Silicon, but not the older versions. So what do you do? Let's say you need Java 8. How do you do? So you use Azul for the rescue. So Azul has this open source Zulu JDK that you can download for Apple Silicon. So let's put download Zulu. You click here. And then see builds of open JDK. Download now. And then here, if you choose the operating system here to be Mac OS, you can see that it has Java 8 for Mac OS Apple Silicon. I think Zulu is the I think Azul is the only one who's providing a native version of open JDK for, for Apple Silicon, which is very nice of their part. It helps a lot. So you go ahead and download JDK 8 here. Uh, I already done it. So if you go to my downloads directory and type JDK, you can see I have the 17 from Oracle, 19 from Oracle, and 8 from from, from Azul and all for Apple Silicon. So let's install it. To do it, you let's first install Java 19, the latest version. So let me move this file to a temp directory. I uncompress and then I untar. Great. So now you have this this directory here sitting on this folder. Let's copy this to to uh, I believe it's library Java Java virtual machines. So now if you go to library Java Java virtual machines is there. So let's make a, a soft link here. Uh, let's say that this is going to be our JDK 19. So great. And let's create a default link to the current one we are using. So that's going to be sudo nfs JDK, JDK 19, the full. So now my default uh, JDK is 19. Let's go ahead and do the same thing for JD, JDK 8. Let's go back to temp. Let's move download Zulu here. So now I have it here as well. Same thing, gun zip, Zulu, tar, Zulu. <clears throat> now I have this folder here. Let's copy this whole thing. I need it to be sudo 
Let's copy this whole thing to library Java, Java virtual machines. Great. If you go there now, you see I have a directory. So that's the design thing. Sudo f Zulu, and then here we're gonna make it JDK eight. Well, now my JDK eight is gonna be the Zulu. Open JDK and my JDK 19 is going to be the Oracle 19. Great. So what do we do now? Basically, we have to set the path in the Java home environment variable for this to work. Before we proceed, there's a little catch when it comes to the Zulu virtual machine. If you go inside the Zulu directory, you notice that it has a different directory structure. Basically everything is on this folder here. So in order to fix that, let's change this link to point to that folder. So sudo and then jdk8. Now operation not permitted. I think I have first to remove the link. Let's do sudo remove. Yeah, that's a, something that happens. Sometimes it won't let you override the link. You have to remove it first, like I'm doing here. So now it's gone. And now I go ahead and create it again. And now it's there. So now JDK8 is pointing to this folder here, which is the right folder of the Zulu virtual machine. Cool. So let's make this work now. The very first thing you need to do is to set the Java home environment variable. To do that, I'm going to go to my Z profile file. And here I'm going to add the Java home. So Java home. And that's going to be library Java, Java virtual machines the fold the link that we have created contents home great and here on the path i'm gonna do export path equals java home and then the path great everything looks good if i didn't do any typo now when you close and open your terminal and do echo java home you see your default virtual machine here if you do path you see that the virtual machine was at here so now if you do java minus version you get the 19 one uh, so let's say you want to use the eight instead of the 19. How do you do? Well, if you go back to library Java. All we have to do is change the default to point to JDK eight. So for example, here we have JDK 19. Well, now if I go ahead and do a sudo and I make a link of JDK eight, to my default, look the magic. Now I do a Java minus version and it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work because I forgot to delete the link. See, it did not update the default. If somebody knows how to fix that, I mean, I. I don't know how to replace a link uh, in terminal. So I first have to delete the link and then do it. So now it's pointing to JDK 8. Now if you do a Java minus version, boom, you have JDK 8. So to, to do this more easily, we are going to create a alias that's going to be very handy. So basically, 
let's go back to our home directory and basically if you edit the zc cell rc file i already get this thing ready here on my sublime those alias here are the ones you're going to be creating let me explain them real quick see all i'm doing is creating a list to remove the the default link and then go ahead and create the default link to the correct jdk see and then the same thing for 19. i remove the default link and i go ahead and create for the jdk 19. So let's copy, and, and in here I have one that just print the version. And after I do this, I print the version to make sure it worked. So let's copy this whole thing here into my, my, my this shell RC file, Java alias for concurrent versions. Okay. Take, remove the space. Great. And then if I source my file, great. So what happens now? If if I do GV, remember I created an alias. If you grab, you see that I created this alias, so I don't have to type Java minus version all the time. So if you type GZ, I'm using Java 1.8. So now when I use Java 19, I simply type Java 19 and it doesn't work because it needs to be sudo. So what happened here is you have to go to library Java and change the Java virtual machines here. Change everything here inside the Java virtual machines to be to belong to you. In my case, it's going to be change O. So sudo change O. Let me draw it, staff, and then something like that. Let's see if that's going to work. So now the links are still not belonging to, to let me draw it, which is not going to be good. So well, to fix that problem, we go to Google and you Google how to change the ownership of links. And it looks like you have to use a special minus H option, not to the reference. So now let's go back here. As you can see, my links are belonging to root. If I go ahead here and do a sudo change O minus H, let me draw it, staff. And then let's try this, see if it works. It did work. So now the links are belonging to myself. So let's go ahead now and execute. Again, I have 1.8. I want to go to 119. Let's execute my alias. And then it still doesn't work. Uh, it's not allowing me to remove it. So I guess at this point, you need to come here and make the whole Java virtual machines belonging to yourself. So you do uh, sudo change on. Uh, let me draw it, staff, and then Java virtual machines. So now the whole directory here is belonging to you. If you do Java 19, it's probably not going to work again. No, it did work. Amazing. So now you're able to, because you change it, the the ownership of Java virtual machines. Now you can change from Java 19 to Java 8 back and forth. Again, I'm executing the alias I created, right? Those two alias. So to recap, basically when I execute, when I type Java 8, I'm removing the default link and creating the default link to JDK 8. So now my Java home is pointing to JDK 8. And, and that's on the Z shell RC file. So you can close this, open, 
type DV to see which one I'm using. Oh, I'm using 1.8. I want to use 19. I just type Java 19. And there we go. I want to go back, Java 8, and here you go. And you can use the same process to add several other versions of Java. Java 9, Java 11, Java 17. And you can also use this the same system for other libraries, such as Maven, for example, or Gradle. You want to you want to install several versions concurrently that you can use concurrently. That's the best way of doing it. It's much better to do it that way than to do it through Homebrew. Homebrew is very bad on keeping several versions concurrently. Uh, try to do it through Homebrew and you understand what I'm saying. It has very bad support for concurrent versions. Homebrew is, is, is awesome, but when it comes to concurrent version, it's very, very bad. And yeah, so that's it. And I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.